Okay, so, hi guys, um, welcome to my second tutorial that I've done for a, a while, but today I'm going to be showing you how you can get Flash games off the internet, um, decompile them using special software, and um, modify them to have the however you like, and then recompile them so you can play them. Okay, so, this is what I did earlier, just a very simple game, Fly the Copter. It's made by see through and I managed to mod it. It's quite easy to do. I'll show you how to do this one. Yep, as you can see, whatever it doesn't go through it what well, goes through the walls doesn't hit the top walls. Okay, so let's get started. First of all you, you want a flash game that you want to um get that you want to modify basically. Okay, so I just go on Google. So let's fly the copter. Choose the first one, whatever. You know, you know a link that works probably. Okay, yep, we've got that right. And yeah. That's a normal version. Basically, just let that load, let the game load. Then press out if you've got um Internet Explorer and uh, then go to Tools, Internet Options, Settings, View the Files. And uh, well, this is the longest way, but there are other ways using different software. So, uh, Control F to find all files and fo folders. I put asterisk.swf. Basically, okay, yeah, that's done. Okay, so we've got all these Shockwave Flash files here, and this obviously looks like the one that we want to get. So you would right click, copy, or open, then save it somehow. So when, when you've got that, you want to copy it to desktop, documents, whatever, where you put your files. I've got, so think, SWF Catcher, which is much easier to do finds the flash on the page and allows you to save them. Basically, yeah, it's much easier. You can get that as well uh, off the internet. Okay, so now that you've got the game, you can put it somewhere where you can get it. You... Let's see, there we go. Yeah, what you want to do is, uh, well, you need the decompiler which I will post in the description it it might cost a bit but you could get it for free if you know how yeah anyway uh, what you want to do, you want to open that with your decompiler yeah so think SWF decompiler and it will open the game for you you can see here this this is the actual library everything that it has in it and um, action action script basically you wouldn't want to use that unless you're making like trainers with uh, Visual Basic um, anyway you want to export the FLA of, of a particular folder if you want but mostly you want to do this export to FLA and choose somewhere to save it uh, convert static test text to shape you might want to do that if you want to keep a special font that they used while uh, doing this game, like like this font here, which won't be recognised in Flash. You might want to keep that uh, to make it as real as possible after you modified it. And uh, I'd use according to SWF version just to be safe, you know, with the action script and stuff. Uh, choose to open it in Flash automatically or do nothing. This doesn't really matter too much for games. But yeah, and then you press OK, and it should say exporting down here somewhere. When that's done, you should get well, well wherever you chose save it. You should get basically something like this. It may have a folder with it if it's a bigger flash game that needs external external items added to it. And if you didn't open it already with Flash, uh, just double click on it. 
wait for Flash to load up. We've got Flash 8 Pro, but um, you can use CS3, uh, whatever you want basically. MX will work, I think, too. Oh, yeah, you can see we've got frames here like you would in Flash. I'm, I'm not a great Flash animator, basically. I don't really use Flash that much. Which is, but, um, you've got all this. You can leave that unless you want to delete the detection. Uh, well, because you know that you've got Flash already. But, uh, anyway, you can see because we converted static text to shape, we've got the same font. It did say, uh, use default font. Uh, before, wait, so I'll just show you again. Uh, as you know, wait, yeah, uh, same font, but this is a game. You just want to keep it like that. Basically, what I did to get rid of of the walls, I um, I was just playing around with uh, with this. I I had no previous knowledge of how to do it. Uh, I wouldn't delete anything here. You could uh, lock a layer if you wanted to. So when you click on it, you can get different things, yeah, unlock that now. Anyway, to, to get the uh, obstacles away, you to click on the object there, called obstacle, go to actions, scroll down there. This is the action script, you basically want to delete the hit test action script. So, you've basically got if, then end if. And that should make it so you could just pass through the obstacles. That was pretty easy. That took me not that long to work out. Anyway, this is a uh, wall blocks. This is when you're going along, and after after this section here, basically you've got uh, the wall changes heights. But when you go along the top of the wall, uh, you won't you won't crash when you hit it. Unfortunately, the bottom one will if you hit the bottom one, which you should there should be. Or uh, but yeah, uh, it freezes. Well, it will freeze your score. You just uh, F5 it, refresh it to make it go back. Anyway, we we clicked on that wall block. Go to action script again, and do exactly the same as you did before. Delete the hit test. Okay, now that's done. You've basically got everything you want. You can leave this here. I haven't really understood how that works yet, but it seems to make the wall height change a bit according to this. Anyway, yeah, once you've got that, you could click on there, change the colour of your copter, which I did on mine. You could lower the levels of different colours already. You don't touch alpha, but well, you could add colours to it like that, but that kind of loses the shapes. So we've got a red copter there. You could uh, edit the text if you want, that's only if you didn't convert it to uh, a shape on the decompiler that we had. Anyway, once you're done you can say save your work basically, or just to get it back to the S SWF uh, compiler again, you want to go export movie, make sure it's a flash movie, SWF, save it somewhere, call it anything you want. Uh, you could do, I'm just using the same flash version as, as it was, like, as it came in, but bottom up or top down, it shouldn't matter that much, you should just play around really, compress movie if you want, small file size, don't really need a high quality image, uh, and that should be okay, just press ok and we'll export the movie, ok, uh, we can close flash now, go back to where you saved the file, you can right click, open with, Internet Explorer, which, well, that's because I haven't got uh, a um, a Flash player, but that doesn't really matter anyway. You can see this is how it came out, and text is the same basically. Everything's looking basically the same, apart from the color of the copter. Uh, player like you normally would, and you can see you won't really hit anything. Unless you go down to the bottom, which I was saying earlier, will free, freeze about around there. Refresh it, or F5, to make it go back. Uh, with my modded version before, I didn't bother, um, bother changing the walls so when you hit it, you don't die, but still. Anyway, that's done. 
I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment or message me somehow. Okay, bye.